growing tech trend takes personal computing to its highest level. It's gone from hands-on to hands-in. More people are bio-hacking their own bodies with implanted computer chips that can perform a wide range of tasks. Local 12's Joe Webb found a local guy who is all in. So there's an app for everything. Garrett Fry is an already accomplished entrepreneur and other than that, seems like a pretty typical 21-year-old college student until you look more closely. It's right here in my left hand, um, and you know, you can see it and feel it if you touch it. Hardly bigger than a grain of rice is a radio frequency identification device implanted between Garrett Fry's thumb and index finger. Using an app on his phone, Fry uses the chip to open the deadbolt on his front door and unlock his phone. So you can uh, program it to send, you know, a specific text, um, turn on an alarm, uh, set a timer, um, run a program, turn off your Wi-Fi. There's a vast number of things that you can do um, with, with the actual chip. Fry's chip was injected using a syringe. He had a professional do it. The chip and insertion cost him $150. He's had it more than a year, but just recently told his parents. You get to get your ears pierced or... Um, you know, a tattoo, that's one thing, but, you know, getting an actual um, implant uh, of, you know, an RFID chip is, you know, kind of, it can be a taboo subject. By the way, his parents are okay with it. Garrett Fry's implant is very simple. Like he said, it's not much more complicated than the identification implant that you would put in your dog or your cat. But they're getting more and more complex, recording body functions for long periods of time, some of them functioning as compasses that you can get your directions and see them light it up through your skin. The technology is just starting to take off, and more people are embracing it or ingesting it. Biohacking has sparked moral and ethical discussions, and in computing circles, it has raised security questions. As the technology has shrunk from mainframes to desktops to laptops to phones to implants, has security kept up? Unfortunately, I think given that every technology generation I've seen, we make the same security mistakes, and we don't secure a new generation of technology until the mistakes are bad enough and cause enough uh, dollars or um, human injuries, unfortunately, to make people take security seriously again. Garrett Fry says the information on his chip is encrypted and not hackable, but Dr. Walden isn't so sure that's the case. Either way, it's working, unlocking doors, literally and figuratively. The limits, it, it's a limitless technology. Uh, there's tons of things we can do with it, and we're really just getting started. And Garrett Fry is getting firsthand experience on just what the future may hold. In Highland Heights, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. But it will be what we all do someday. Mm -hmm. Garrett Fry is a senior at NKU but has already launched his own business. EventSpiderApp.com helps connect students to activities on campus and helps schools retain their students.